So today we're making a slime. We are adding a half a cup of glue, a half a cup of water, food coloring, and a half a teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of saline solution. So we're we add the glue in first. And then while mixing, and then while mixing, you add the water. Mix until the glue is like fully dissolved in the water. And then you can add your color. My color, I'm aiming for a nice red color. You are going to get some of the glue chunks in with your color. They will go away later. And you can add more color. So that's going to be my color. So now you can add the half teaspoon of baking soda. I prefer to do this all mixed in. It's really up to you. I think it just makes the consistency a lot, like, I think it makes it like squishier. So now you can add your saline solution. You're going to need one tablespoon of saline solution or eye contact solution. There we go. So be very careful when you're adding this so that you don't lose any of it. Because this really is what brings the slime together. It's what gives it its texture. So you may or may not need to add more baking soda. You might because that's what makes it less... Like if you want it to be sticky, then don't. But if you want it to not be sticky and be like jiggly slime or butter slime, then you can just add another tablespoon of baking soda, which I'm going to add right now. Sometimes letting it sit helps. You can still add more color if you did not get the color you wanted. So here's how I've got it. And after you mix it a little while longer, it gets, um, like, it gets less sticky. 
You can mix it with your hands at this point. If you don't want to get your hands dirty or it's kind of sticky right when you aren't finished mixing it. If you don't want to get your hands dirty, then I would advise you not to. But yeah, it's not that sticky when you get to the end. So this is what it turns out as when it's not sticky. It's really stretchy and squishy and yeah, this is my third time making this slime. So, I hope you like the video and goodbye!